Und Month we now the fifth lunar month, Jumad Awal, inshaAllah. And Allah dress us from the immensity of the realities of the fifth lunar month, the reality of 45, and Ismul Rasul Sayyidina Shahir, the famous, and Ismullah that open all realities, Al Wahsi, the all comprehending, 45th surah. And one of the keys of the surah, Ayatul Kareem, that is an immense doorway to a great understanding and realities, inshaAllah. Uh, surah 45, verse 13. Surah 45, verse 13, Haj Shahid, inshaAllah. Sakha lakum. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا مِنْهُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ Mubarak the Rasul Kareem, Habib al-Azim. So alhamdulillah that as we getting deeper into the Muhammadan heart and to the immense realities of this Divinely Kingdom. This earth is just one of the dots of this kingdom that manifest. The greater kingdom is that which is unseen and the Divine realities within that. And Allah draws our understanding in the 13th verse of Surah 45. That and he has subjected to you Sayyidina Muhammad all that is in the heavens and all that are on the earths. And what is between them, jami'un, that anything in between what we consider heaven and earth from the manifest world to the unseen world, all of them have been subjected to you. Means they're under the dominion of Sayyidina Muhammad and behold these are the signs for those who tafakkirun, those who meditate and contemplate. Not anyone going to understand that, that we described at the beginning of the journey that much of this way Allah always gives this disclaimer, none will know it except the people of tafakkur and Allah drawing that this kingdom none will know it except the people of tafakkur. So when they say, oh how you say that and why is the, the Prophet above all the other Prophets and who's your proof on this or where's your proof on that? It's a course that has to be studied throughout the year but at this door tonight this is then that tajalli for people to again understand this year. That when we come into this fifth lunar month then Allah is giving us the decree of this kingdom that, I have sahar ma fi samawati wa ma fil ard, min whom and that it's from who, from the, the Divinely Presence Allah has subjected everything. Anything you can think between the physical and unseen world and angels and, and thrones and arshes and anything, anything we can think of is subjected to the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad But who will see that door and the door of that authority? None but the people of tafakkur and contemplation. Just as physical people did not see the spider web when Prophet was hiding in the cave from enemies. They looked into a cave and they couldn't see it. So that when people try to ask or ask questions and start off with a negative understanding they're not going to see it. So why bother trying to explain it? They have to be what? Trained in tafakkur because the mind and regular aql, the dunya mind is not going to comprehend these realities. These have to be people who have to 
have been trained to meditate, to contemplate, to connect their heart, to understand that we are nothing. And if we reduce ourselves to the dot that we truly are, you can begin to see the vastness of God's creation. And that the creation is not ruling itself in anarchy but Allah has subjected everything to an authority. And that supreme authority is Sayyidina Muhammad So this is a, a tremendous sign of might and qudra, power, Divinely blessings and alhamdulillah. And as a result why go to any other door except the door of the king, Sultanul Nasira. So means this becomes the evidence of why to love the prophetic reality whom represents all the prophets because the understanding of all the prophets are now corrupt. Which Jesus? Not the ones they say because they took him as a god and that is a dajjal. But the Isa ibn Maryam salam, the one that Prophet is describing, so means everything is encased within the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad And everything that exists upon this earth now is deceit and deception. That's what we described along the way, Sayyidina Musa salam, is black. So who are these white people? Not the people of Sayyidina Musa Sayyidina Isa salam, Middle Eastern, thick black beard, sweaty, very tough, intolerant. Why they talk about friendly with a lamb, twelve disciples and everyone else running. Very tough, very strong character and the one whom was merciful and compassionate Sayyidina Muhammad The perfection of Divine the Presence, 124,000 companions because of the rahmah and Allah described we would not have sent him except that he is the mercy because he is the king, he is the door towards the Divine the Presence to bring people to the correct understanding of Allah the correct understanding of the heavens, the disciplined and clear path to Divinely Presence and the non-corrupted doorway to Divinely Presence because it adheres to what Allah wanted for this creation. So everything becoming darkened and Islam shining like a white light. Who are people who keep 30 days of fasting? Who are people whom their book is preserved by the Divinely blockchain of one billion hearts that have memorized the holy book? Means everything about the deen and the religion of Allah is showing itself more and more every day. The non-corruptible religion, the religion in which you harm them and they scream louder into the Divinely Presence, Allahu Akbar and alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah. So means the immensity and the beatific reality of this deen that Allah has given to us as our responsibility. And as we enter into this Divinely month and holy month Allah grants from this reality this ishq and love because all whom you love you'll be with. And if you're with the one whom Allah is describing that we have subjected to you everything within the earth's, the physical world and all of the spiritual world and anything between them is subjected to you from who? From Allah's Divinely Essence. Means that that's the one to love, that's the one to emulate and copy the character 
And that's the one whom if you draw near to the presence of Prophet you draw near to these power oceans and purified perfected oceans of reality inshaAllah. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from its immensity. And a reminder for myself in a life that becoming more and more bombarded by dunya that Allah's gift to us because if we don't remind ourselves what is the gift, we allow shaitan to play within our mind, within our whispering. That we live in a world in which we have expectations and we want something from everyone. And when we don't get what we want, we have a disappointment but many people now just go somewhere else, search for it with someone else and something else. But love for Allah is not like that. Means the gift that Allah gave to us is His Divinely love. This is the gift. When Allah loves the servant, He allows them to have this Divinely love. Without the Divinely love you're not interested in your Creator. You, you would be the 99% of the people whom looking in other directions. So before we have all of these desires of what we want, the awliya come back and remind us that those are pretty much garbage. And the gift that Allah gave to us was this Divinely love. And when Allah increased that gift, he put into your heart to have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and the love of all his Divinely Prophets. And that was a gift from Allah And when Allah gives that gift, He gives the love of the Ulul Am, those who emulate and copy and represent the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the way of these realities and the path of these realities. And the gift was the love in the heart, that was the gift. Because everyone now they pray for things, they pray for what they want, they pray for openings, they pray for more money, they pray for bigger this, bigger that, more opportunity. But unfortunately they begin to associate the prayer as if that's the gift from Allah And if you don't get what you prayed for then you have a falling out with your Creator. And they seem to have wrapped the worshipness with requests. Oh he's not listening to me, oh it's not being answered, oh, 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 oh. But that wasn't the gift. Those were things that shaitan put into our hearts to ask and to want. But that's not what Allah put into the heart. He says, I gave you the greatest gift which was my Divinely love. Without that love you're not even watching the channel so it's not relevant to anyone who's outside of that. Anyone watching this channel has been given a grant of Divinely love. Whatever they think their religion and denomination doesn't mean anything. They have a yearning within their heart, a hunger within their heart that was the gift. Everything else shaitan comes to whisper to us, ask for this, ask for that, ask for that. And actually the words of shaitan will come back to the person and say, look he left you, he doesn't even listen to you, I would listen to you all the time, I would never leave you. This is how shaitan's operation runs, fear of missing out, lost opportunities, wanting, wanting, wanting. But that has nothing to do with the Divine, that has to do with shaitan. And shaitan keep whispering to the servant that, oh nobody's listening to you, leave that, leave that way. 
oh the Prophet doesn't love you leave that way. But none of that is true and it wasn't a path based on asking for things. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that and when they don't get those they have an extreme disappointment, oh God must not love me, I'm not getting what I'm asking for. But this wasn't a religion and with, with the heavens they bowed down to you and to me we were supposed to bow down to Allah and it's not what I'm asking for. But to be thankful, Ya Rabbi I love you for the sake of the love you've given to me and put into my heart. I could have been doing many different things, bad things but you put a love within my heart to love you. And deeper than that Ya Rabbi you put a love into my heart to love Sayyidina Muhammad and I do what I do out of that love. I want to eagerly do more so that to gain the attention of Prophet and show the entire universe how much I have that love. Our path is based on show your love. So it means that your expression of love is the gift. This is what we were hoping for, to have the love for one's shaykh it's such a deep love that no matter what happens in this world it's burned within your wujud, it's burned into the reality of the soul. It's not at the level of the tongue, it's at the level of the heart. When someone can't remember the shaykh, can't think about the shaykh, can't feel a send a love towards the shaykh. How are they thinking that they have love for Allah or for Sayyidina Muhammad When that which is in front of you, that which is accessible to you, you're not able to express that love. Maybe it's because they have expectations, oh I didn't get the job I wanted therefore I'm not uh, interested. Also oh, this is probably how you feel about Prophet too. You don't get what you want then you become distant and angered. You didn't get a response from Allah you become then distant and angered. Because we're putting the, the understanding of shaitan towards Rahman and they don't operate anything the same. The mere fact Allah has given me guidance then this is an immense gift. My life is then to nurture this gift, protect this gift, take care of this gift, show my love and expression for that gift and what we're teaching is then the nazar because then the nazar and the relationship grows. The khidmat and the service, the zeal of wanting to do more because I want my shaykh to be happy, I want the nazar to be upon me. All of this reality is then this deep reality of Divinely love. Because many people say, no, no I have love for Allah, I don't know about the rest of you. But in reality, no you don't and it doesn't work that way. To love the Divine and to declare that you love the Divine but you don't have a love for Prophet and if you don't have that overwhelming love for Prophet that would carry over into the ulul am because you want to be around Muhammadiyoon, you want to hear the Muhammadiyoon, you want to be in the presence of the Muhammadiyoon, why? Because your love for Sayyidina Muhammad overwhelms you and as a result all you want is their nazar, all you want is to do a khidmat and a service and that is the gift. This is the greatest battle now because shaitan every day is playing with people, you didn't get this, they will show they forgot about you, they don't think of you, what kind of rubbish is that? This was more about uh, getting your satisfactions and, and your prayers to be answered. This was a path in which to submit. We didn't take bayat, we came to give our bayat. Give my life and give my service 
and give everything of myself to show my Creator my love. My love for the tariqah which is the yellow brick road to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Every video I watch proves it, every knowledge I hear proves it. Then ask yourself, do you feel more love for the presence of Prophet since you've come to this door, to these teachings? From a month ago, from six months ago, from a year ago, from the day you came to where you are now in your life, do you feel more love for the presence of Prophet If so, that was the gift. Before we ask and become confused by shaitan of what we were going to try to get, not get, what we were supposed to receive, not receive, the gift that Allah wanted for us was this love because it's the love that we carry for us all of eternity. What are you going to do with the job and everything else you ask for that ends in the grave? That wasn't the gift. What Allah wanted to give was that which is eternal. When against the love of the shaykh you take that love for all of eternity. You take your last breath on this earth, that love, its reality opens in the qabr and in the world of light to understand what that really was and who that really was. The love for Prophet lasts for all of eternity, not 80 years on this earth. But shaitan has us focusing on the wrong prayers, on the 80 years on the dunya part and, and, and overlooking the importance of that which is eternal, which you can't even describe the magnitude of what Allah gives you for eternity. Could you compare that with what you're asking from the 80 or 90 years of life on this earth? So the big we're losing sight of. And the small shaitan's entire focus is on that, that he actually talks to people and tells them, I haven't forgotten you, just come to me, I grant you what you want, I'll always be with you. Even to the day that I make you homeless and begging and destroying yourself and, and uh, being attacked upon the street because shaitan doesn't promise anything but the despair and destruction of humanity. We pray that Allah give us a, a great understanding of what Allah has given to us. As a result if we awaken to understand this love, we would never stop our service, we would never stop showing the love, we would live a life of uh, immense happiness that Allah, as Allah has given everything to us. He gave us the love of a sultan whom is uh, authority over everything and granted us to live and eat and to take the knowledges of Ulul Am who represent the Divinely Kingdom and the Divinely Table of Sayyidina Muhammad in which we eat from his Divinely Table. That Divinely Table in the world of light is knowledge, they don't feed food up there, it's a world of light. To take from the Table of Prophet is to eat and drink from his holy kawthar and to be taking that in dunya is an immense system, is an immense sign for those whom contemplate. Imagine if this is what you eat and drink in dunya, what Allah has in store for you in paradises. InshaAllah Allah open for us these immense lights, immense blessings, Subhana rabbika rabbal izzatama yasifun. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan.
to many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.